What's good everybody, it's your boy Eddie and welcome back to the channel and for this video we are actually going to be testing out the Tesla's FSD version 12.33. This is one of the newest versions of the full self-driving, obviously it's going to be supervised and I'm not going to lie guys, I am super nervous right now, I just finished charging the car. But fortunately for me guys, I do have somewhere to go today because I just hit the Kobe 8 Venice beaches right on the Jimmy Jazz on Jamaica Avenue. So let me just get right out of this parking spot real quick and then I'll activate the full self-driving. This is really going to be nerve wracking for me but let's see how this actually goes so i'm gonna get out of this charging station right now you guys can see the rig in the back end it did cost a little money but i am excited to be using this for my future tesla videos and we're gonna see where we go from here so i'm going to activate it maybe right after this car passes because i do not want any malfunctions even though any of the malfunctions that actually happen with this car is reported to tesla and actually helps the car you know get way better so let me just get out of the lot right here and now we are going to activate this full self-driving guys i'm not gonna lie i'm a little nervous yeah this is very scary so one thing to note about the car is the fact that you can actually put the screen like this if you drag it to the right this car is driving by itself y'all it did a whole stop that's fire but again i am super nervous like <laughs> Oh my God, I cannot believe this is happening right now. As you guys can see in this back camera right here, literally I am not touching anything. So you see this right here, it says apply sight turning force to the steering wheel. So what you can do is add force to the steering wheel or scroll this little button right here on the right hand side and it'll activate the same exact way and it'll keep you going. So guys, based on what I heard from this full self-driving update, it is one of the best updates. Obviously it's going to be because it's new and improved. It's a new update but i heard it's really good i heard a lot of people giving great reviews about it but my only issue with the tesla full self-driving is the fact that it cost about 12k bro 12k is a lot of money and i'm not gonna lie guys i don't know if i'll be willing to pay that look at that it's turning <laughs> yo this is insane it knows exactly where to go it put the indicator and there's a car right in front of me at a red light and this is crazy but anyways getting back to the topic I think 12k is definitely a big amount for anybody whether you got the money or not i don't think this is something that somebody's going to use every single day so i don't understand why well i do understand why it's 12k they want to make their bread back because there's a lot of r d research and development that goes into this a lot of coding a lot of man hours and a lot of people are getting paid good money to be able to engineer code and design this whole aspect of the full self-driving feature I do believe it's not going to be 100% perfect right now because I think we're at level two and level five to level six is when you get that full maximum full self-driving capability. So right now at level two, I think this is actually pretty awesome because I have not put my hand on the steering wheel other than when it asked, but you see it's asking again to apply some steering force. That's fine. But I did hear a lot of things about it during the full self-driving where it'll do like a go stop. So this, look at that. I'm, I'm scared. I'm really scared right now. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy, y'all. So if things get a little wild, I'll definitely be sure to take full control of the car. But as of right now, this drive is going super smooth. Like, other than my nerves, of course, because this is insane and it is raining. So I chose a perfect day to actually do this right now, guys. But, you know, it is what it is on that. I'm not going to, you know, complain too much about it. But yeah, so it's cool right now there's some cars coming behind me and this is actually going pretty slow my only concern about this is that there's a lot of bad holes on jamaica avenue on this drive right here so we're gonna see what happens we're definitely gonna see what happens so it wants me to go in the van wick but oh look at that as soon as i mention it look it's about to Oh, this guy's driving wild behind me. See, that's the problem with the full self-driving, right? It actually maneuvered that pretty well, but there's some wild people on the road. So I really do want to see how this thing can actually manifest itself to be driving perfectly while avoiding weirdos who just don't know how to drive on the road. Like, look, this is this is crazy right now. I'm sure this camera's going to catch that. There's a lot of things going on right here. A bunch of cars trying to push in. And this guy, hopefully he's not, okay, he's not gonna be, I'm not gonna say the word that I really wanted to use, but you know, it's fine, it's fine. 
very interesting stuff shout out to elon musk because this is absolutely insane other than you know applying some pressure to the wheel i have not intervened at all but what i'm worried about is the area that we're about to hit there are a lot of potholes um so i just hope the car doesn't you know mess up but uh okay this is interesting there's no lines right here so it's it's kind of in the middle of the road but this is going pretty well guys definitely let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below i am scared completely but it's actually pulling what it has to do off so I think this serves a lot of great functional purposes in the real world. For example, for people with disabilities or anything like that, this is going to be absolutely awesome for them to get from point A to point B. Because look, I have not really used my hands at all other than, you know, applying the force. Yep, I got it. I'm here, guys. I'm here, guys. So sometimes it does that because when you're not paying attention to the road, it has a camera right here and it actually notices that you're not paying attention. So when that happens, that's when it makes a little noise like, hey, pay attention to the road, apply that pressure. And I did it. And this, this is great. This is actually great. My nerves aren't as high as it was before. What I will say is um, I think this car could go a little bit faster, but Maybe that might be an offset that I changed. Maybe, let me just see if I could check the settings real quick. Autopilot. No, there's no offset. So I'm wondering why it's hitting a maximum of uh, 35. Yeah, I'm paying attention, dog. Pay attention, I'm paying attention. All right, there we go. So I'm wondering why it's only going a max of 35. That's interesting. Maybe because it notices that there's a lot of cars, so there's no need to speed up that much. Maybe that's why. But um, if you guys know why it's doing that, I'm going to assume it's because of that, because there's a lot of traffic in front of me. But I definitely want to know if you guys know why it's giving me that max. I'm going to assume it's that because normally if I was to take the wheel right now, I would be hitting that 50 miles per hour, getting through the road and all that type of stuff. So cool. Uh, we have 14 minutes left on the drive, which is great. No edits. I'm trying my best not to cuss on the road because there's some idiots that are driving around but it's it's going pretty well it's going pretty well i love this full display i said that wrong i love this full display screen that we got going on right here so as you guys can see on this camera we got the full screen now so i can swipe it to the left and it kind of gives you that traffic thing that's going on oh the thing did go up so the speed went 240 so I guess it was just because there's a lot of people around and that's why I kind of slowed it down. So now we have a max speed of 40 right here and 13 minutes, 2.6 miles away. This is this is this is good, man. I don't have any real complaints other than I would drive a little bit faster. But obviously with this full self driving, you want to promote proper driving when you're an elite driver like me. You don't have to, you know, adhere to everything, but. I understand why this Tesla is adhering to the laws and the rules of driving on the road. And right now, the nerves are actually 100% gone. I am not nervous anymore. So shout out to Elon, shout out to Tesla, shout out to this rig right here, because <laughs> I was wondering how I was going to be able to do this. Um, but, you know, shout out to Amazon. It, it got here fast and this is cool, guys. This is cool, guys. Definitely let me know what you think about this drive so far. The nerves are gone. I feel absolutely comfortable with it. Um, I only had to apply the brakes or the wheels or pressure just when activating it. And when, you know, it's asking me to say, hey, put your hands on the wheel so that we can know that you're focusing on the road. So pretty nice. I would put on a playlist right now, but I don't want to get copyrighted. So I'll just add some youtube content friendly media so that you guys can have some music to listen to while i talk because i've been rambling for i don't know the past 10 12 minutes so you know hopefully you guys like me talking <laughs> oh man i wish my mom or uh, my wife was in the car right now because it would be so funny to see what their reaction is i'm probably going to activate the fsd when we go to pick up the other sneakers um, so I did get a couple of W's and I'm happy for that. Um, so we'll see what happens. I definitely want to get their true reaction. So I may leave this camera in the car or I may leave the rig in the car just to add some B-roll at the end to see how they're feeling or moving. So we'll see. 
I liked what the car just did, so I think this camera just caught that. Basically, what just happened was it was trying to get into the right lane, but since it's so congested, it actually canceled that out. Look, it's trying to go back in now. Woo, that was a little while. That's on camera. That's on camera, but it did prevent itself from, you know, wilding out. So, look, we got this person right here bugging. But um, I've done that before. That's happened to me where I'm trying to make a left turn or whatever or a right turn into a lane and I had to kind of just move back because the person sped through. So it happens. That's a natural reaction and it's not something that I'm truly mad at. Yeah, I think you could go in there, Tesla. The other Tesla's actually letting you go. But let's see. If you go too slow, the Tesla's not going to let you in. I may have to take control because it's going a bit too slow. Or it's waiting, it's waiting for this Tesla to pass by. Because there's a there was a lot of space beforehand. I think it could have moved a little bit more efficient with that. Let's see. Let's see if it's gonna do it. If not, I'm gonna have to take control, which is fine. I don't have my hand on the wheels yet. Okay. I'm gonna it's probably because it sees the white lines. Alright, I'm gonna have to take control real quick, guys. That was a little strange. But I think it's because the white lines were in effect. Um, let me go back now and put the FSD. All right, so we good now. That was the one time I had to take over, I think because it was trying to adhere to the white lines. And you know, it doesn't want to give me a ticket, which I respect, um, but I think it could have moved a little bit more efficient in that moment. But you know, shout out to Elon. This is still a wonderful, great car. Um, hopefully you guys don't have to catch me uh, trying to get the sneakers app win. I'm going to have to text my uh, family on my other phone real quick um, to let them know about this sneaker stuff. So just give me a second. Um, let me call wifey. Yo, how you feeling, Pooh? Still congested? Okay. Well, just to let you know, um, I'm doing the full self driving right now, um, so this is actually getting caught in the video. But um, just a reminder: at 11 a.m., uh, the Kobe's are gonna drop. So just do a 8.5 for the Italian Camo since we won the other pairs in store. Okay. And make sure to tell mom. Also, I have another phone at the crib. Um, it's it's by my computer table. It's the the 10s. If you could enter that uh, to, and put it for grandma's address, I, I think it's automatically going to do that. But if you can do that for me, um, and disconnect from the Wi-Fi too. I'm out here giving my sneakers gems on this video right now. So disconnect the Wi-Fi's for all of them except for grandma's uh, or my 10s phone. Okay. All right. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, so I may have to cancel this camera right here, but we still got this rig recording because once it hits 11, your boy got to go for them Kobe's, them Italian camo. So I did hit the Phillies. I did hit the Venice beaches. So I got two out of the three of the pack, but the Italian camels is the most limited pair out of all of them. So we may have, you know, hopefully I could get the pack so I could review all of them, but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens um yeah so we got about seven minutes left and the ride has been smooth other than that white line thing i'm going to have to assume that that's what it was because bro there was mad chances for the car to actually do it but i understand i respect that it did not want me to get a ticket and it worked like a charm so right now i'm, I'm just putting on the the defogger okay i actually heard some reviews that the tesla has been um with the full self-driving doing very tight turns but that gave enough space came out and then made the right with no issues this joint is cool but i i don't think this still justifies a 12k cost i understand that elon is trying to promote the robo taxi thing and sure in concept the idea of getting a tesla paying 12 bands and you know not renting it out or leasing it out but sending the car out to start making some some rides and some routes 
um that sounds good in essence but if this was like 3k i would buy it i would buy it if it was 3k but 12k is just insane bro it's insane is mad money for people with money like 12k that's that's a rolex or a down payment on a nice rolex that's a nice little down payment on a house or a portion to a house you know that's a bunch of sneakers if you're into that let me just turn on okay the defogger is off now it's a lot of money you know and when you think about the pricing of the teslas especially this model y i got a lot of savings i got a lot of discounts and it's probably to promote people to buy out all of their model y's because they're trying to do a refresh or they're going to do a refresh in 2025 and it's gonna look similar i think to the tesla model 3 highland um but yeah it's it's like it, i can see why they would charge 12k but i think if they really want to make money off this they got to make it transfer actually i did hear that it's transferable but to one car so if i was to buy this i lease so this that wouldn't make sense in my situation because every three years two years whatever whenever i'm ready i'm gonna keep changing cars so if that's the case that was a little hard break right now but it's all right but if that's the case i don't i don't think it'll be worth it bro because if i pay 12k right now right let's just say that i got three more or two two and a half more years on no my math is so messed up i got two years and 10 months left with this car so if that's the case two and two and a half no two years and 10 months boom 12k i can transfer it to my next car but i don't like owning cars so i'm gonna lease my next car anyways another two and no another three two and a half years to three years that math don't add up bro that's that's about what let's say six years divided by um 12k that's about like what two two bands ish a year six twelve yeah that's about two bands ish a year i don't i don't know and i just got this situation that says full self-driving may be degraded uh poor weather detected but it's still going and it's still avoiding this i will take okay Cause I was about to take over. It looked like I was about to whack that joint. I was a little, I was a little scared just now. I'm like, you know, <laughs> whether uh, FSD degraded. I was like, oh snap. Okay, it's fine though, bro. You know what I'm saying? You still driving? You keep notifying me that, but you still driving perfectly fine. I don't know why I was doing that, but anyways, back to the topic. So that would be about two k a year. In essence, if I'm making bread off of like Ubers and all that stuff and the car is doing it by itself, it may be worth it, but oh, it did not dodge that pothole, guys. I felt that one. That felt expensive. Just joking. It wasn't that bad. I just wanted to be dramatic. Um, but in essence, the idea works, but I don't know. I don't know. T to be honest, I don't know. Is this guy going to let me go? Thank you, brother. Thank you, bro. I don't know if people peep that I am doing the full self-driving thing right now. Um, but, you know, people have been mostly generous other than that one person on the road. So shout out to you for not being the best person in the world. Oh, the Kobe's. Oh, snap. Hopefully it's a draw. I might have baited bad. Um, all right. It's a draw. We Gucci. I was so scared. I'm like, yo, I'm talking to y'all. I forgot about my sneakers drop. Um... Uh, Yes, I'll only be charged if my selection is chosen. Let me hide this from the camera real quick because I don't need y'all knowing my address, bruh. All right, size 8.5. Boom, let's enter that. Cool, that's one. And I'm going to cancel out this camera real quickly so that I can just do this drop real quick. Give me a second. Sneakers. All right. Love you, mom. Love you, Alma. Appreciate you guys for keeping this ship alive while I'm out here, you know, working. Okay, yes. I'm paying attention, guys. Uh, Apple card. I don't know why it's going so slow. That's strange. Ah, it's probably felt the holes and stuff, but... That is very nice. All right, so we back. Let me just sit this right there. All right, perfect. 
I don't know why it's going a little slower than normal. That's strange to me. Um, yeah, this is not good. Um, I guess because of the weather, I'm going to keep this going. But it can go a little bit faster. I might have to put some gas on it. Because this thing is going slower than it needs to right now. All right, let me put some gas on it. This is the only time I'm intervening. Ah, it's going to do a break. Sorry, guys. So I don't know why it's going so slow. I don't know why it's going so slow. That's strange that it did like the, the nine miles an hour thing. I think it's because of the weather. Let me wipe the windshield. Maybe he's noticing that. I don't know why I did that. That's strange. But I know everybody hates me right now because I just held up the traffic. So Tesla, that's another form of feedback I would recommend. I don't know why it's giving a max of nine miles an hour in a 25. So I will be pushing a little bit more gas on that because that's strange. That's strange. It's not even raining that hard. It's a little, you know what I'm saying? A little drizzle, but I don't think it's worth driving nine miles. So I am going to intervene here just to add some more speed to it because... We could have been at Jimmy Jazz right now picking up the sneakers. So, yeah. One thing also to note about the full self-driving is that it does not put you in a defined parking spot. Um, you can do the auto park, auto summit. Oh, wait, wait. It's picking up some guys. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I'm, I'm going to apply more, more speed because I don't know why it's... Look, now it says a max of four miles an hour. What is that about? So, I'm putting some gas just so we can try to, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. Just got to chill out. All right. That was weird. That was weird. Yeah, I'm going to have to put some more gas on it because for some reason, now it's on, stuck on four. I think it's noticing the rain. But yeah, I'm going to keep this in the video because one, cruise control would not break. Um, yeah, we're not cruise controlling, brother. How far are we from snipes? Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more gas on this because a four miles an hour max doesn't make any sense to me at all. Um, but is leaving us right by the Jimmy Jazz or snipes or whatever this is at this point. I want to see this. This is probably going to be the last thing I show. Oh, wait, look, this guy's driving like an idiot. What is this about, bro? This is the foolishness that you have to encounter in New York. Like dog it should not take you that many minutes to to turn into a parking that makes no sense the real eddie just now that's not on youtube would have been very mad but you know we here now um i'm gonna pull over i'm gonna just stop this real quick what i might do is i just turned off the fsd what i might do is just roll in right here because as jamaica ab i doubt there's gonna be any parking uh so i'm gonna just park up right here and yeah guys that was the full self-driving guys let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below there was definitely some finicky parts which i found to be very strange but um overall i did enjoy the driving experience it was pretty smooth um, i'm gonna be try i'm gonna try to be quick on the av right now because i'm leaving this big camera in the car and we still in the hood basically so i'm gonna try to be quick but try to sentry mode Talk to y'all later. Definitely let me know again what you think in the comment section down below. And I'll catch y'all on the next video, guys. Peace.